Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. This morning, we'll be looking at the 2020 NCA Tables, Equation and Graph, NCA Level 1 Examination. And today, we'll look at Question 1. In the future videos, please watch Question 2 and 3 if you want to ace this external at the end of the year. So let's go. So now, the first question, they give you the graph and you are going to find the equation of the graph. So this is a straight line graph. The equation of a straight line graph is always y equal to mx plus c. So your job is to find your m and your c. So for c, the y-intercept, in this case, you can't find the y-intercept. So we have to use substitution to make sure we are right. m is easy. M is the gradient. Gradient is the change in Y divided by change in X, or commonly called rise divided by run. So we are going to draw a triangle. It could be any triangle. Make sure the point are a whole number. So in this case, we have chosen this point 2, 4. X is 2, Y is 4. And the second point is here. That is 3, 1. So X is 3, Y is 1. You can even choose this point if you want. It could be 1, 6. So we have decided to choose these two points. And to find the gradient, we find the rise, which is 1, 2, 3. And the run is 1. So rise over run is 3 over 1. Because the slope is sloping downwards, we put a negative sign. So the gradient is negative 3. So the, we substitute negative 3 into that equation to so y equals to negative 3x plus c. Normally, if you can see the y in the set, we can just put the C there, but unfortunately for this case, we cannot find the Y in the set. To do that, we do substitution. So we can substitute either using this coordinate or that coordinate. So suppose we have decided to use the second coordinate, which is 3, 1. So X is 3, Y is 1. We substitute that numbers into this equation. Instead of Y, we're going to replace by 1. Instead of X, we replace by 3 plus C. Then we expand it. 1 equals to minus 3 times 3 is negative 9 plus C. To get your C, you plus 9 on the left, you plus 9 on the right. The 9 will cancel out. So C equals to 1 plus 9 equals to 10. So once you found your C and your M, put it back into this equation. So the equation is going to be Y equals to negative 3. Your gradient is negative 3X. And the Y intercept is going to be 10. So that will give you an achieve in that question. Not too bad, right? Okay, let's go now for question B. Question 1B. Okay, 1B. Okay, so three friends, Anaru, Bahman and Kale, or ABC, are about to start a saving plan. Each friend has a different saving plan. They want to compare how much they will save over the next nine years. Let's remember, nine years, okay? None of the friends will withdraw any money from the saving plan at any stage. Okay, so we look at Anaru's scenario. Anaru puts an amount of money in the bank account at the start of the saving plan. His money will gain compound interest at the end of each year. His plan is represented by this formula. Savings equals to 50 times 1.3 to the power of T, where S is the saving, T is the number of years, and how much money did Anaru put into the savings plan at the start of the year? So to do that, you know that at the start, time equal to zero. So time equal to zero. So when time equal to zero, you substitute zero into that equation. So S equal to 50 times 1.3 T. Instead of T, we substitute T is zero. Any number to power zero is one. So 50 times one is going to 50. So at the start of the year, he has $50. And that will be an easy achieve. Great. We will proceed to the merit question now. The next two is a merit question. So we have done Anaru. So we are now going to Bahman. Bahman does not use the bank. And instead, he plans to keep his money in a shoebox. He put $50 in a shoebox at the start. So before he even starts, he has $50. Bahman will not receive any interest. But he will put $40 in a shoebox at the end of each year. Write the equation that represents Bahman's savings plan. So in the straight line, equation is always y equal to mx plus c. So instead of y, we're going to put the saving equal to m times plus c. So we need to calculate 
C, the initial amount. So initial amount is 50. So C equal to 50. Very simple. And M is the amount he's going to put in the gradient, is the amount he's going to put at every year. So in this case, he's going to put $40. So your M is going to be 40. So once you know your M, which is 40, and you know your C is 50, put into the equation. So F, the saving, equals to 40. M is 40. And C is 50. And that will give you a merit in that question. Not too bad, right? Great. So now we look at Kale. Okay. Kale saving plan. Another merit question. Okay. Kale saving plan is in the table below. So first year is 110, second year 121, third year 133.10. If you notice that this number divided by that is going to be 1.1, that number divided by that number is going to be 1.1. So that is an exponential function. So the equation is going to be 1.1 to the power of t, depending on how many years. Because he started with $100, so the amount is $100. So the equation is going to be saving equal to 100 times 1.1 t. That is dependent on how much he saves every year by dividing the factor before it. So that will again be a merit. Okay, great. Now, we look at question 4. Okay, so this is the excellence question. So now we have another friend. His name is Delhi D. Okay, he's got the equation, the graph on the page shows daily saving. Equation for daily saving is S equals to 10, 10 minus T minus 2 squared plus 40. I'll show you the graph later. Okay, using tables, equation, and graph, compare Anaru, Dale, and Kelly. So we shall do only one. So we know the formula for Anaru is S equal to 50 times 1.33 based on previous example. Kale is 100 times 1.1 to power t. We also found that in the previous example. And daily formula is given here. 10 bracket t minus 2 squared plus 40. Okay. So now we are just going to substitute the numbers. So we're going to substitute 1 to up to 9 and get the values on the table. So for simplicity's sake, we're going to choose only 1. We're going to do 2. Okay. So we take time equal to 2, years 2. So when T equal to 2, Anayu has this formula, 50 times 1.3 power squared, because T is replaced by 2. Put in your calculator, is 84.5. That is how we get 84.5. Got it? Great. Kale, Kale formula is this. So instead of T, you, uh, it's going to be 100 times 1.1 to the power 2, and we found it to be $121. So that's why we get $121. And of course, daily, when t equal to 2, very simple, t, 2 minus 2, this part is going to be 0, so 10 power times 0 is 0, so the answer is 40, that's how we get 40. So do the rest for year 1 to year 9, and you come up with this table. Okay, once the graph, the table has been given, we are going to plot the points on the graph. So now, we look at Anaru. Anaru is this line here. So what we do, year 1 is 65, so Anaru is 65, year 2 is 84.5, and year 3 is 109.85, and keep on plotting until you get all the 9 points, and then you're going to join all the points, and that will be the graph for Anaru. Not too bad, right? Then we go on to Kale. So Kale, so the Kale is the first year is 110, so Kale, first year is going to be 110. Second year is 121, third year is 133, and 146, and so on. Again, draw a line, and that line is the graph for kale. And last but not least, we have Delhi. Delhi is the line here. So the first year is 50, second year is 40, third year is 50 again going up, then 80, then fifth year is 130, and keep plotting for the nine years and plot the point. So once you have done that, we have the three graphs of Anaru, Kale, and Delhi. So the next question asks you is going to compare the three graphs together. So we have made the decision to compare. So the first thing we look at the starting point. So the starting point, Kale has the highest amount at $100, while Anaru starts with 50 and Delhi starts at 65. So that will give you one valid point. Next, we are going to compare when are they going to meet. So we have found out that uh, this point here, so at 
at 0 0.625 years. You can see that. Delhi and Anayu have the same amount. So they meet at this point. So they have the amount at $59. While Kale has a higher value at 106 Great. Now we look at 4.1 years. Again, this time, Kale and Anayu is the same. Okay. In this case, Kale and Anayu have the same amount at $147 while Delhi is slightly lower at $84. And again, the next point where they meet again is this point here. This point is going to be at 5.6 years. In this case, Kale and Delhi have the same, and they are among at 170, while Anayu is way above that, it's going to be at 217, okay? So as the time goes by over long period of time, you can see that Anayu and Delhi is going to go up way up there, while kale will remain here, so we can say that kale will be lagging behind compared to Anayu and Delhi. So if you can answer that, that question is going to be an excellent. And hopefully you watch video 2 and 3 coming up soon. If you can watch 1, 2 and 3, you should have no problem passing this internal. If not, you should be able to get at least a merit or excellent. Keep practicing and have a good day everyone and see you soon. Cheers.